Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make custom icon images for your theme on anything but the iPhone 4. Um, the reason why I'm not doing a tutorial right now for the iPhone 4 is because it the method requires a different process because the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation has retina display so I'm gonna have to do that at a later time because right now I don't have an iPhone 4. Um, if you already have an icon image, I'll be showing you how to put it up through SSH, but you're going to need a few things for this. You're going to need Photoshop or something equivalent to Photoshop. Um, you're going to need to know how to SSH, and you're going to need Winterboard, which requires a jailbroken iPod. Alright, go into your My Themes folder that we made in the earlier tutorial and create a new folder called Icons with a capital I. So once you have the icon folder made, go ahead and open Photoshop and go to File, New. Make sure the width and the height is set to 60 pixels by 60 pixels and the background contents is going to be set to transparent and hit OK. Now you could design this any way you like. Um, I'll just show you an example. Got an ugly orange background right there. Say if I want to make this, I don't know, a Facebook icon. <laughs> Facebook is supposed to be blue, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just make it orange. Um, there you go. That's just like a normal icon. You could get really fancy, but I already have an icon made. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. All right, so I made a YouTube icon. Oh, let me just resize this. It's the wrong size. Sixty. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So go to File, Save As. Sorry, you can't see the screen, but I'm gonna save this as a PNG format into my theme folder. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the icon folder we just made, and then I'm gonna name this YouTube. Now, keep in mind everything is case sensitive when it comes to saving stuff like this, so make sure you have the exact name of the application on your iPhone. Um, you get the application names from the application itself. For instance, YouTube on my iPhone is spelled exactly like this. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Hit OK. Alright, once you have the YouTube icon saved or whatever icon it may be, um, go ahead and open WinSCP or CyberDuck or whatever you're using to SSH and log in. I just logged in with the wrong IP there, so one second. Okay, let me see. There we go. Alright, now we're going to go all the way up the directory and then go to user, or I'm sorry, library, themes, and just drag the entire my theme folder in. Hit copy and yes to all. And now it's on your iPhone, but we're going to have to go into Winterboard. All right, as you can see my YouTube icon is there, but in order to get get it there, you need to go into Winterboard and respring your device. So, once you're in Winterboard, go ahead and go select your to select themes and then select your theme, hit Winterboard on the top left, and then Respring. It's going to take a while. And your theme should be there. If it's not, then you must have renamed it to something else. You must have misspelled the icons folder or the application name, but it's just that simple on the on everything below the iPhone 4. Um, the process used on the iPhone 4 is much different, so stick around and subscribe and I'll get a tutorial out to you guys soon enough.
before I end this tutorial, I'd like to show you guys a shortcut that I use in order to restart the springboard. Um, I have an application called SB Settings. It's a great tool, um, just all purpose tool for your iPhone. I would recommend getting it from Cydia. But in order to use it, just swipe your finger across the top bar and then you should see a respring button. It's just to swipe on the top of the bar and press the respring button and there you go it just respring's just like that and it saves you a lot of time from going into winter board and doing all that stuff